Ivy League universities in the US began as a group association of eight highly competitive athletic colleges, namely Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Columbia, Brown, Dartmouth, University of Pennsylvania, and Cornell University. When you are beginning your search for undergraduate and graduate degrees internationally, these universities are likely to be the first to attract your attention. Why? Firstly, they use a lot of resources to attract smart, hardworking and career-minded students like you from all over the world. Secondly, it's no secret that these schools strongly help students in their professional careers, looking to several fields extending from law, medicine to electrical engineering and business and mainly the STEM subjects. The Ivy League universities truly dominate these categories. Getting a degree from these schools will open a lot of doors for you in the future. Over the years, these Ivy League schools and colleges have gained a widespread reputation for producing graduates with high academic performances, social prestige, and a promising career. Even today, these universities maintain their reputation and they have a large presence among the top-ranked universities in the US. Thus, in this video, we'll be talking about the best application tips to get into the top US universities, especially the Ivy League and elite schools. Required scores for getting into Ivy League and elite universities for MS from India In order to crack admissions at the top US universities, you need to have a very high GRE score, typically 164 plus in quant and 320 plus overall, and the AWA score should be no less than 4.5. Now let's find out the approximate scores required for the top US schools for STEM studies. Rule of thumb the higher the better. 330 in GRE is always better than 324. Period. TOEFL TOEFL or IELTS score is another mandatory test for US schools. Ideally, you should have 95 to 100 in TOEFL, IBT, unless a university has specified a score. You can also get into the top 25 US universities with a score in the range of 90 to 95, IELTS 6.5 to 7.0. No need to put super extra effort on this component. A TOEFL score of 110 or 118 out of 120 is not going to make you stand out in the applicant pool in any way for an Ivy League or any other top 25 US schools. GPA Academics form a very important part of the application. Since the committee members do not get an opportunity to interview or test the candidate in any way, they have to use these grades as a substitute for determining the candidate's competency in his or her field of study. Having an impeccable academic record is definitely a sure short way to get noticed by the committee. But if not that, it is highly recommended to at least maintain a fairly good cumulative GPA so as to not get directly rejected on grounds of poor academic performance. GPA should be around 3.6, 4.0 or 8.5 to 10.0 mark. Letter of Recommendation Strong recommendation letters from professors who can comment on the candidate's academics can help a lot during your admission. It helps a lot if the professor clearly states that the candidate did indeed top the department and also provides some background regarding the usual range of grades for courses taken at that specific university. You can check our detailed guide on this topic by clicking on the link above. A good recommendation letter not only gives the committee an idea of the applicant's impression on the recommender, but also highlights projects, achievements, and other salient information which might not have been evident from the rest of the application. Work experience Even though work experience is not at all necessary to apply for masters at a US university, having a certain level of work experience does add value to the entire application, provided that the work is relevant the other factor that matters is the identity of the company itself. Companies that are reputed and are far more familiar to the committee will have far more weightage than others. Think Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Oracle, and other globally acclaimed MNCs. Applicants having work experience can choose to have one of their recommenders as their immediate manager from work 
instead of someone from their undergraduate college. This can help both applicants who hail from fairly unknown colleges but work in a reputed company and applicants who could not manage to perform very well in college whose recommendations from college are likely to be weak but subsequently excelled in his or her job. Research experience and publications when you apply to a college, you will, you will need to illustrate your intellectual curiosity, your capacity to think innovatively and originally, and your ability to commit and to execute a college-level project. In fact, all of the above can be achieved simultaneously by completing an original research project or by publishing your own thesis and work. By participating in and conducting research or publishing books and writings of your own while in high school or college, you are exhibiting an interest in a subject and an entrepreneurial personality which is highly attractive to university admission officers. The top colleges are appreciative of the time and effort it takes to do real research. It is one of the intangible items that will make you stand out for acceptance by any college or university. It also denotes that you will be much better prepared to perform at the college level compared to other students who don't have this experience. Research experience and publications serve as a positive factor during college admissions. If you have any unpublished work, submit it with your application and someone from the field will judge the quality of your work. If you don't have any prior research, don't lose hope. You can still get in because schools are trying to judge the potential to do the research. Because efforts do matter too. Contact a faculty member you'd like to work with. You should email them a couple of months or so before you apply. We would recommend you to approach them in the summer if you are targeting fall intake in the following year. The email should be formatted into points, not paragraphs. Tell them you were considering applying and you are curious about the research opportunities available in the field. Comment intelligently on some research that faculty member has done. Attach any research you have done and briefly summarize your research interests. The faculty member can then make sure your application receives a thorough review. Bear in mind that, that professors receive lots of form letters spam from prospective students, so make sure to stand out and send a personalized email. You can check out our in-depth guide to contact potential supervisors by clicking on the link above. Overall profile and importance of statement of purpose or essays. When you are specifically targeting the Ivy League and other top US universities, the application pool is typically extremely competitive. Having 8.5 or 9.0 CGPA and a GRE score in the 90th percentile will impress the committee for sure. You might also have 2-3 to three years of solid work experience or happen to be an IIT or NIT graduate. But there is a good chance that many of the other applicants could have emulated the same feat. Secondly, if you have somehow managed to have a below par GPA, say 7.8 out of 10 or 75% from an Indian institute or average GRE score of below 320 and still want to apply for the Ivy League or top 25 schools in the US, a well-written and compelling SOP can leverage your average GPA or GRE feat. In most cases, if the overall application is very strong, then the applicant has a good chance of getting admitted even with a blackluster SOP. In other words, a badly written statement of purpose will almost never be the sole reason for your rejection. However, skillfully written statements will always help the applicant's cause. We have already made a detailed video on how to write a statement of purpose for your college admissions. You can watch that video by clicking right here. I hope you got a better understanding of all that it takes to get into the high Ivy League colleges and other top elite schools in the US. You can contact us at customer.support at the rate student.com in case you have any queries or want to reach out to us. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and family. And finally, thanks for watching.